Hi, it's Sawyer Lisa, and today I am telling you that if you are an individual who are in a variable rate mortgage, lock in. I've been trying to get this message across as much as possible. A lot of people have been given that impression that this, you know, high interest rate environment is only a blip, that it's going to be resolved by Q4 2023. That is just not the case. And in fact, you have to look at Justin Trudeau's spending to get an idea of what's going to happen with rates because they're really intimately connected. So let's take a look at this. Um, he is spending on abatedly. It started with the, the COVID. Uh, our debt just keeps accelerating and accelerating. In February, it was $662 uh, billion, and then by May, it was $1.3 trillion. That is a doubling. I don't even want to look at what it might be now. Now, the commitments in Malaysia to reduce sexual assault, that um, was at $750 million. And now he's talking about climate reparations. So climate reparations are going to take it through the roof. So just to understand that relationship is when Justin Trudeau commits this money, we don't have it. We don't, right? It's not in the tax base. We're running deficits. So he prints it up. When he prints it up, it causes inflation. When you're printing it up on the scale that the climate reparations are going to be talking about, then your inflation rate, which in, in the U.S. is at 8.2 8 right now, is going to be skyrocketing, absolutely skyrocketing. And so the only way to deal with it is, oh, lo and behold, increase those interest rates. And two things happen. Okay, so your interest rates are going to go up. So you're going to hit your trigger rate if you're in a variable rate mortgage, right? But another thing is going to happen. The uh, value of your home is going to go down, right? This is how they're evaporating the wealth, right? So if you're printing money, you're throwing more dollars into the economy. And the true value of the goods isn't, isn't there any longer. So that money has to be evaporated. It has to be burned. But it's not just randomly being burned, is it? It's being burned in your pocket, right? Your wealth, right? This will catch on. I mean, by that, I mean contagion. It's going to move through different markets as well. So first of all, if you're not thinking about refinancing and you're going to wait till Q4 2023, let me tell you why it's too late. That house price went down. And so when you bought at 80% financing, maybe you did it recently, then your value of your home will have gone down. To keep your home along with everybody else, you are going to have to reinvest into that home. I call this the weaponization of our financial system. I do. So just a few rough facts. In 2019, Can Canadians only one-fifth of them were in variable rate mortgages, right? Despite, this was a time with historical low rates. We And by now, we are now one-third in variable rate mortgages. 50% of those variable rate mortgages have hit their trigger rates, which means there's going to be increased obligations. It also means that you are only paying um, pure interest. You're not paying any principal down. So, And if your amortization was longer, it's actually worse because at the outset, with a lower amortization, at least you're paying some principal. With a longer amortization, you're, you aren't paying any principal at all. If you want to refinance, do it now. Suck it up, buttercup. Do it now. Don't do it later when your housing value is lower and you are also going to have to put in that 20% equity. So if it loses 10% in the market, if your house value loses 10% in the market, then you are going to have to reinvest in your home. So 
you heard of this thing called the Great Reset. And uh, a guy by the name Klaus Schwab uh, wrote it. And I've been saying to myself, if that's going to happen and I'm going to own nothing and you're going to own nothing by 2030, how exactly are they going to do it? Hmm. They're going to do it with the great print, right? The great printing of money gets the great inflation, gets the great interest rate hikes, gets the great mortgage defaults, gets the great loss of discretionary income, gets the great uh, loss of uh, revenue in small businesses, gets the great layoffs, gets and so on and so forth, right? The weaponization of the financial system is being done by virtue of spending money. I look like a hologram with the way, <laughs> it's, it's total aside there, with the spending of the money by our governments. And so when you think they're actually trying to tackle climate change by giving money to other nations, what they're doing is flooding marketplaces everywhere by the, with the printing of money. And what happens is the great inflation. I think we are looking at times that are as dire or worse than the 1970s OPEC crisis, right? Where you had uh, asset deflation and inflation of the cost of goods and services. So lock in, you got to hold on and go check out my video, Hunger Games, to the extent that I'm wondering whether this whole thing is planned. And if we start looking at what's going on, please consider preparing, add up your numbers and lock in now. Otherwise, it's going to be really difficult come February. Thanks. It's Lawyer Lisa. Like, share, subscribe.